Unit 14. Lighting up your life with candles. March 26th. It's Allie's birthday, and she's about to blow out the candles on her birthday cake. As she does so, she wonders, "Why do we put candles on cakes? And where did candles come from?" Well, Allie, our birthday present to you is to tell you their story. Where their burning tale begins is uncertain, but candles may go back as far as 500 B.C. At that time. Ancient Greeks put candles in their temples, while Romans gave them as gifts during religious festivals. Wealthy Romans made candles with beeswax, but most candles were made of tallow or fat from sheep and cows. A few centuries later, candles appeared in China, though whale fat was more commonly used there. For hundreds of years. Candles were the only form of illumination after dark. Therefore, the chandlers or candle makers conducted an important trade. Some sold candles door to door, while others formed merchant groups called guilds. During the Industrial Revolution, companies began making candles with machines and using braided cotton for the wicks. Though this made them more affordable. The industry soon declined, as other sources of light were developed. Despite this, candles haven't disappeared. They're extremely useful during a blackout, and they provide a romantic atmosphere. Scented candles also make a room smell nice. As for why we put candles on a cake, it's connected to religion. Round cakes with lighted candles were originally created as offerings. To the Greek goddess Artemis, some people believed their smoke carried people's wishes to the gods. Though these candles are no longer associated with any certain god, the practice of blowing them out in hopes of making a wish come true is a brilliant practice that is sure to endure for years to come.